Everybody hates me. Wait, what? Everyone? So you're telling me you got the opinion of everybody on the planet and that was the consensus. Sounds like cognitive distortion to me. Hi, CJ here, and in today's edition of Life Notes, Negative Thinking Patterns. Unfortunately, our thoughts can and do lie at times. The statement I opened with, for example, everyone hates me, is one of 10 negative thinking patterns or cognitive distortions called all or nothing thinking. It's when we put things into extremes, absolutes, black and white, good or bad. And this kind of thinking can make sweeping assumptions and can cause us to have unrealistic expectations of ourselves and others. It can also cause us to have trouble acknowledging mistakes amongst other uh, thinking traps. As you can see, there is no in-between with all or nothing thinking. It's completely one way or the other. Instead, a positive thinking pattern would be something like this. I do have some people who care about me. For the entire list of 10 cognitive distortions or negative thinking patterns, click the link in the description for a resource from Dr. Neil Nedley. But here are two more from the list of 10 just before I go. How about this one? Overgeneralization. He never washes the dishes. Correction. While it may be, sorry, while it may not be as often as I like, he does occasionally wash the dishes. And how about this one? Mind reading. He should have known I was upset about that. Correction. I cannot expect others to know what I'm thinking. Now, you would see that many uh, distortive thoughts contain elements of more uh, than one cognitive distortion. But we can rewire our neural pathways, our brains. We can change our thoughts. Next time, we would explore Dr. Nedley's four-step process for identifying and correcting thinking and or, or correcting thinking errors and negative automatic thoughts. Now, here's an overview of what we'll explore next time. Number one, hear your internal dialogue. What are you thinking? Number two, analyze your internal dialogue. Identify which cognitive distortions are present. Number three, reconstruct your thinking. Write, your, write true statements to replace distorted thoughts. And number four, practice, practice, practice. Uh, the more you practice, the easier it gets to eliminate distorted thinking. I've got three questions for you. What negative thinking patterns are you aware of in yourself? Are you willing to trust your brain's ability to rewire itself? What are you going to do differently starting today? I want to close with these words from Walter D. Wintle. If you think you're beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you'd like to win but think you can't, it's almost certain you won't. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or the faster man, but sooner or later, the man who wins is the man who thinks he can.